Another fascinating thing is that the largest living organism on Earth in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, Armillaria astoii. Yeah. Some people call it Gallica, two different things. But yeah, I flew over it. It's a 2,200 acre, you know, basically a clear cut because it killed all the trees. In my book, Mycelium Running, I have the best photographs of the largest organism in the world. And I hired an airplane and first time I couldn't see it because I was too low. Second time I had to spiral up. Can you explain what it is to people? It's a honey mushroom is a parasite on trees. It's edible. Um, the honey mushrooms on hardwoods tend to taste better, but this one is on conifers. Um, and it's a comes up in clusters. It forms black, black rhizomorphs, black mycelium. It's called laminated root rot. Many listeners here know what that is. It kills fruit trees. Um, but this is a marauding parasite that created a contiguous mat over 2,200 acres. And um, in this case, it killed all the trees, so they went ashen gray in color, and they dried out, and they're dead. Uh, because of fire hazard from lightning strikes, the Forest Service came in, and they cut all the dead trees. And they created this beautiful outline of the largest mycelial mat in the world because you could see where the dead trees were. Can we see what that looks like in an image? It's also in mycelium running. Um, so, um, but anyhow, that's an example. Now, oh, it killed the trees. That's terrible. But it created gla- uh, grasslands for ungulates. Right. Yeah, so deer and moose, elk can come in. So it's way of, I think it's a way of this rebalancing of nature. Right. Where You're the, dealing with millions and millions of acres. Millions and millions of acres. There is a real big problem with um, the bark beetle right now. You know, that's a problem. It's, it's the ecosystems are shifting in response to stress. And, you know, we live with our mind's view of only one lifetime. We're very myopic. I think we need to look out at a thousand year. I mean, what is the lens of time that we actually look at ecosystems? What's the right lens to use? Depends upon your vested interests, you know, as a human, as a deer, as an ecosystem. They could be very different. Right. <coughs> it's just such a fascinating thing. The largest known organism on Earth exists in the Pacific Northwest. And it's one cell ball thick. That's so nuts. Think about its immune system. You know what I found out recently that I had no idea? Aspen trees, when you see aspen trees, it's one plant. Yeah, it's one contiguous thing. They're the two competitors for that title, by the way. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. They're the two competitors. When you see these, I I always thought when you see aspen forests that it's a bunch of different individual aspen trees. Right. Nope. 